As someone who's been encouraging people to think critically for about the last decade, I often see people misuse logical fallacies. And one of the most commonly misused logical fallacies that I see is the ad hominem fallacy. The ad hominem fallacy is supposed to refer to an argument that is based on attacking the person instead of the argument that they are making. But often I see people confuse it with an ad hominem attack. Basically, it's the difference between saying, you're wrong because you're ugly, and you're wrong and you're ugly. The first is a fallacy, the second is just an attack. Of course, sometimes there are gray areas where it's hard to tell whether something is just an ad hominem attack or whether it is an actual fallacy. And that's why I'm so happy that SeaWorld has stepped forward to give us a really great example of an ad hominem fallacy. Former SeaWorld orca trainer John Hargrove was recently featured in the documentary Blackfish, which was quite damning against SeaWorld. And he also just published a book about the abuses that he saw over his years working with SeaWorld. Ever since Blackfish came out, SeaWorld has experienced declining ticket sales, so it's natural that they would want to respond to the various allegations that are made in the documentary and in Hargrove's book. Uh, you, they could do this by, for instance, showing a track record that they do not, in fact, separate baby calves from their mothers too early, or they do not, in fact, breed orcas extremely young, or that they do not, in fact, keep orcas in pens much too small for them. They could show that they do, in fact, uh, keep their orcas in something more similar to what they would experience in the wild. But of course, that would mean keeping the orcas in a pen the size of the Pacific Ocean, which I can't imagine they're willing to do because it's very difficult to actually sell tickets to the ocean. Uh, so instead of responding to these, these actual allegations, SeaWorld has decided to release a video of Hargrove drunkenly using the N-word while talking to someone on the phone. But that's not all. SeaWorld has also helped fund a website called Real John Hargrove, where someone posts inflammatory articles with shocking revelations, like the fact that even though Hargrove retired from SeaWorld on disability after injuries sustained from training orcas became too much for him, he once went snowboarding in 2013. They also point out that on a panel once, Hargrove said that he worked in the industry for 19 years, when in fact, SeaWorld says he only worked in the industry for 14 years. Even as ad hominem attacks go, these are incredibly pathetic. Like, sure, it's awful to find out that he's a racist, but come on, SeaWorld, surely you can do better than this. Obviously, these responses don't even come close to addressing Hargrove's actual allegations. And the sheer number of ad hominem attacks combined with the lack of defense against the allegations, I think pushes this one over pretty clearly into ad hominem fallacy territory. And unfortunately, some media outlets like Gawker fell for this hook, line, and sinker. Pardon the pun. Gawker wrote that being caught screaming and repeating racial slurs does plenty to discredit yourself. But that's not actually true. Were his arguments about black people instead of black fish, it may be true. But unfortunately, you can still be a racist sack of shit and work at SeaWorld for a decade and notice problems with abusive animals. And similarly, being wrong about whether you were in the industry for 14 or 19 years doesn't mean you're going to be wrong about the emotional abuse that you saw in the animals you took care of every day for more than a decade. And going snowboarding despite an injury, I mean, come on, that doesn't even mean anything. Jesus Christ, SeaWorld, you could at least try. So please drop the ad hominems and then finally just drop the whole orca business.